Um, it's a challenge. I feel like an amateur right now, but I'm coachable. That's one thing I know from being in sports. I am a coachable guy. You're well talked about personal life. How do you stay true to who you are? But off the field, I just want to be a genuine person. I try not to get too far down the road. I've always been a very grounded guy. You know, might not come come off like that when I'm playing football because you ne just never know what opportunities are going to present themselves. Travis Kelsey has to marry Taylor Swift, right? Why? He's crazy. Why? 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 They got to get married. There's no, there's no turning back now. They can't break up. <laughs> they got to get married. There's got to be a payoff. First up, trust issues are bubbling as Travis struggles with jealousy over Taylor's hunky backup dancers on her record-breaking Eras tour. Can you imagine dating someone as dazzling as Taylor and watching her surrounded by fit, good-looking guys? Yikes! Then there's the drama of Taylor's flirty stage moves. Even though Travis trusts her, seeing her cozy up to those dancers is making his alpha male ego flare up. Sources say he's not thrilled about it, even though fans are still swooning over his down-to-earth charm. Despite these hiccups, Taylor is totally cool with Travis's partying ways. After his team clinched the 2024 Super Bowl, they partied till 5 a.m., and she wasn't phased by his tipsy antics at all. She loves his all-American vibe, and her trust in him is rock solid. However, dating guru Jana Hawking has a different take. She thinks this footballer era for Taylor is just that, an era, not a lifetime. Taylor's creative spirit and Travis's jock personality might not mesh in the long run. Do you feel like you're like a security guard when you're with Taylor? I'm like protective. Yeah, for sure. And then uh, Taylor also made the surprise cameo uh, introducing uh, her good friend. I feel like whenever I'm on a date, I'm, all, I'm always like having like the sense of like I'm a man in the situation. You gotta fight for your right. Drama and trust issues. All right, gather around for the latest scoop. It looks like Taylor and Travis, the hottest new couple, are already hitting some rough patches. Their whirlwind romance has everyone talking, but it seems like Travis is having a hard time dealing with some major jealousy issues. According to a trusty source, our football hero Travis is struggling with seeing Taylor surrounded by her hunky backup dancers. Can you blame him? Imagine dating someone as dazzling as Taylor and then watching her hang out with a bunch of super fit, good-looking guys all day. Ouch! An insider spilled the beans, saying that Travis definitely trusts Taylor, but that doesn't make it any easier for him to see her with all these other attractive men. He's a very macho alpha male guy. His ego gets triggered pretty easily, the source said. Even though these dancers probably don't stand a chance with Taylor, it still stings for Travis when he sees them showering her with attention. Classic alpha male problems, right? Apparently, Travis has this old-school mentality where he sees other men around his girl as competition. So naturally, this gets under his skin big time, even though those guys are just doing their job. It's tough being the boyfriend of a global superstar, especially one as adored as Taylor. Adding fuel to the fire, an insider reported that Travis has no plans on proposing to Taylor anytime soon. Despite their high-profile romance, marriage isn't even on his radar right now. The source emphasized that Travis takes marriage very seriously and isn't the type to rush into it without a lot of thought. So while Taylor and Travis may look like a fairy tale couple, it's clear that they're dealing with some real life issues. Only time will tell if they can work through these jealous vibes and find their happily ever after. Um, it's a challenge. I feel like an amateur right now, but I'm coachable. That's one thing I know from being in sports. I am a coachable guy. And I tell you, I couldn't have even imagined it get to the point it is today. How good is Travis Kelsey's life? these days man uh, uh 20 100 man i'm i'm so fortunate and so grateful taylor's flirty stage moves it turns out that taylor's steamy on stage performances with her male dancers are making her nfl superstar boyfriend travis kelsey a bit green with envy taylor is on her record-breaking eras tour captivating the audience with her mesmerizing performances alongside her are a bunch of hunky male dancers and taylor's been having some playful flirty moments with them on stage it's all in good fun, but Travis isn't exactly thrilled about it. Sources spilled that even though Travis trusts Taylor, seeing her cozy up to those dancers makes his macho ego flare up. The Kansas City Chiefs star is used to being the alpha male, and watching his globally famous girlfriend surrounded by these attractive guys isn't easy for him. His ego gets triggered pretty easily, the insider said, adding that Travis feels major pangs of jealousy when he sees Taylor getting so much attention from her backup dancers. Despite knowing these guys don't stand a chance with her, Travis can't help but feel a bit insecure. He's got this old-school mentality where any guy around his girl feels like competition. 
You can almost imagine him grumbling, why can't you just hire some female dancers next time? But it's not all drama in their high-profile romance. Fans are still swooning over Travis and how he treats Taylor. He's been hailed as the greenest flag ever because of his down-to-earth nature and the way he talks about her in public. Taylor even gushed about how much she loves his grounded personality. Since going public with their relationship in September, the couple has been going strong, despite these occasional hiccups. It's clear that Taylor and Travis are working through the ups and downs, and fans are rooting for their happily ever after. But for now, Travis will just have to grin and bear it whenever Taylor's on stage, charming the crowd and her dancers with her flirtatious energy. Trusting Travis's Party Side Despite some jealousy hiccups, Taylor is totally cool with Travis's partying ways, even when he's had a few too many. After the Chiefs clinched their Super Bowl, Taylor and Travis party till the wee hours, celebrating his epic win. Sources told us that Taylor isn't phased by his tipsy moments. In fact, she's pretty chill about his partying habits. While there are plenty of women who'd love a shot at Travis, Taylor knows he's just out with the guys, not chasing other women. Remember that wild night in February? The couple was spotted dancing till 5 a.m., and Travis was definitely enjoying the Super Bowl parade on February 14, a bit tipsy but having the time of his life. But Taylor? Not worried one bit. An insider dished that Taylor finds it refreshing to date someone like Travis after all the musicians and actors she's been with. He's the classic all-American guy, the type of guy she's dreamed about as a kid. Think high school football star vibes. And let's be real, Taylor's confidence in their relationship is rock solid. She's not the least bit nervous about leaving him alone. According to the source, she knows exactly how Travis feels about her and has no doubts about their bond. So despite some green-eyed moments over her flirty stage antics, Taylor's trust in Travis's good and bad habits is unwavering. Why Tavis won't last. All right, Swifties and NFL fans, hold on to your friendship bracelets because journalist and dating guru Jana Hawking has some hot takes on why Taylor and Travis might not be the forever kind of couple. Jana dives deep into Taylor's dating history, reminiscing about her various eras. Remember the long and lanky English lad era with Harry Styles, Joe Alwyn, and Tom Hiddleston? Those days were all about escaping to the romantic English countryside, enjoying a low-key G&T at the local pub, and maybe grabbing a cute outfit from H&M. Then came the actor era with Taylor Lautner and Jake Gyllenhaal. These relationships were filled with drama and passion, much like dating a former soap star, according to Jana. Sure, it meant sharing the spotlight and managing egos, but it had its own thrilling theatrics. Next up was the musician era, featuring heartthrobs like Matt Healy, John Mayer, and Joe Jonas. There's something irresistible about a guy with a guitar, right? Jana fondly recalls her own fling with a drummer, hinting at the intoxicating rhythm that spills over from the stage to the bedroom. Steamy. She's basically who's the character from X-Men, Mystique. She becomes them, and then she sheds it when yeah. she's done. And yeah. I just feel like even her fans need to admit that she's a very talented person, but she's also out of her mind, and everything is a marketing and a PR move. Whoever mm -hmm. she is dating, she becomes them for a little bit. Well, it's all manipulation. Yes, and the thing that freaks me out about her relationships, and you can go back and you can see this, is that she quite literally takes on their entire person. Now we find Taylor in the footballer era with Travis Kelsey. Jana admits she's had her fair share of sporty flings, too. There's just something about those muscles. But she's convinced this relationship is just an era, not a lifetime. Why? Because Taylor and Travis come from completely different worlds. Taylor, the creative mastermind behind some of the best song lyrics, loves her fluffy cats and deep conversations. Travis, on the other hand, is all about chugging beer, talking sports, and let's face it, being the quintessential jock. Jana vividly describes how Taylor likely cringed when Travis sang off key to You've Gotta Fight for Your Right to Party. It's the classic high school scenario, the jock dating the music nerd. They may look great together, but fundamentally they don't mesh. Jana predicts that Taylor will eventually return to her creative tribe, those who can turn a melody into a love song and understand the deeper layers of her art. So while Taylor and Travis might enjoy this lust-filled, muscle-admiring era for now, Jana believes Taylor's true match lies within the creative world she thrives in. And for Jana, she's hoping for a sweet, sweet musical connection with someone like John Mayer. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.